Lucas Raymond was drafted fourth overall in the 2020 NHL entry draft to the Detroit Red Wings. The 18-year-old has already played three seasons in the Swedish Hockey League for Frölunda. He also played for the Swedish World Juniors team where he played seven games in the tournament and put up four points. Let's hop into a career simulation here on NHL 21. I almost said 20, but no. Run NHL 21 now. And let's see how EA thinks Lucas Raymond's career is going to pan out. So to get started, Raymond would be on the first line for the Grand Rapids Griffins at 77 overall, starting out his career in the AHL, which not really super shocking, but I feel like he might genuinely crack the Detroit Red Wings roster first year. We'll see what happens. But anyway, he actually ended up playing games for Detroit here. He played 59 games and put up 19 points with a minus five. And Zetterberg, the guy that I always forgets in this game, is the top retiring player this season. Entering the second year, and Raymond will be on the second line for the Detroit Red Wings at 80 overall. He went up three from his beginning of last year, and the Red Wings will finish seventh in the Atlantic Division with 79 points. Lucas Raymond would play the full 82 games and put up 60 points with a minus seven, and the Broad Street Bullies are going to take home the Stanley Cup for year number two. The top retiring player is going to be none other than Patrick Marlowe. Year number three, Raymond will be on the first line at 85 overall, so the 60 points last year clearly helped him. Moritz is up there as well, I'm sure Detroit fans are happy to see that, and Ranta is going to be the starting goaltender. The team will finish third in the entire league with 106 points, and Raymond will put up 72 points with a plus 24. A great season for him. The St. Louis Blues are going to win the Stanley Cup here for year number three. Larkin taking home a trophy there, congrats, and the Red Wings would be swept by the Canadians in round number two. The top retiring player this year is going to be Leafs legend, Jason Spezza. Ooh, let's get into year number four, where Raymond is now 89 overall. He is growing rapidly here. It's pretty crazy, to be honest. Braden Holpe going to be the starting goaltender, a new four-year, basically $7 million contract for Mr. Raymond, and the team will finish second in the Atlantic. With 94 points, Raymond will put up a nice amount of points in 82 games, and the Winnipeg Jets are going to win the Stanley Cup for year number four. We've got a second round exit for the Detroit Red Wings again, this time to the Tampa Bay Lightning, and this time they actually won a game. It was in five. Jumbo Joe is the top retiring player this season. Year number five, Lucas Raymond dropped back off pretty hard there. He's down to 85 overall from last season, which I don't really know how that happened. But anyway, the team finishes third in the Atlantic with 93 points. And Raymond, very close to point a game. One off. He gets 81 points in 82 games here. And the Winnipeg Jets are going to win another Stanley Cup. Back to back with Askarov as the goalie as well. They beat out the Broad Street Bullies in seven. The Red Wings lost to Tampa Bay again, this time in round one in seven games. And Blake Wheeler is the top retiring player points-wise this year. Time to jump into year six, where Raymond is now 87 overall, playing with Larkin and Zadina on the first line for the Red Wings here. Gustafsson will be the starting goaltender. The team finishes seventh in the Atlantic, so a drop-off for the team here, getting 78 points. Raymond will get 75 points in 82 games. And the Chicago Blackhawks are going to win a Stanley Cup. Holtby popping off for the Dallas Stars there, it looked like. Sidney Crosby going to retire, I feel like, relatively early. To start out year number seven, Lucas Raymond's going to be playing with Larkin and Ovi. He's down to 82 overall, but it's still Ovechkin. You know, guy can probably still put the puck in the net. Gustafson still the starting goaltender. The team will finish with 91 points, seventh in the Atlantic, so a very good Atlantic division this year. Raymond will put up 82 points in 76 games. Larkin also popping off, so that's good for him. And the Minnesota Wild are going to take home the Stanley Cup here. I feel like we don't really see them win too often in these simulations, but... Maybe, anyway, Ovechkin is retiring this year, 1,825 points. Let's get into year number eight, where Lucas Raymond is on the first line for the Detroit Red Wings at 88 overall, and Gustafsson will still be the starting goaltender. A new six-year, $11 million contract for Lucas Raymond. Secure that bag, buddy. Detroit 
finishing fifth in the Atlantic this season, missing out on the playoffs. Raymond getting a nice amount of points once again here. 82 games, and the Toronto Maple Leafs are going to be Stanley Cup champions for year number eight. Patrick Kane, top retiring player this season, 1,570 points. The final year before the double digits, and Raymond will be on the left side at 86 overall. I don't know why, but his overall seems to be fluctuating a lot. I feel like that doesn't happen very often. But Detroit will finish fifth in the Atlantic Division again. Raymond will put up 65 points in 82 games this time around. And the Buffalo Sabres are going to take home the Stanley Cup this year. Also a bunch of individual trophies by the looks of it. Steven Stamkos is the top retiring player this season. To start out year number 10, Lucas Raymond will be on the first line for the Detroit Red Wings once again here. 86 overall this time around. And the, there seems to be a sweet spot for some reason. The Detroit Red Wings love finishing 5th in the Atlantic. But we got 77 points in 82 games out of Lucas Raymond this year. And we've got a Stanley Cup out of the Montreal Canadiens. When it comes to retiring players, the top player this time around is going to be Mark Shifley with 1,200 and 14 points. Hello and welcome back to another year here. We are now in year 11 where Raymond is going to be 87 overall. Still on the first line for your Detroit Red Wings. Fifth in the Atlantic once more. 87 points. Raymond will put up 73 points in 82 games. He's having some pretty consistent seasons here. Which is nice to see. The Carolina Hurricanes bunch of jerks are going to be the Stanley Cup champions and the simulation machine Tyler Sagan is the top retiring player with 1,481 points. For year number 12, we've got Lucas Raymond at 87 overall still on the first line for the Detroit Red Wings here. They don't have a goalie, which is a bold strategy to say the least. The Red Wings once again finishing fifth. I didn't even notice that until I'm editing this. But anyway, 63 points out of Lucas Raymond this season. And a Stanley Cup is heading to the St. Louis Blues. Alexander Barkov is the top retiring player this season with 1,347 points. Year 13, Raymond will still be on the first line here. 86 overall. Once again, his overall seems to go up and down quite a lot, which is kind of surprising to me, and I also did not really notice that when getting the footage. But anyway, Detroit will finish 7th in the Atlantic Division. Not great. Raymond will be minus 20, but he still puts up 65 points this season. The LA Kings are going to take home the Stanley Cup this time around, and Connor McDavid is going to be the top retiring player this season with just shy of 1,700 points. Year 14, Raymond still on the first line. I feel like this is the first time in a long time, though, that he has not played with Dylan Larkin. They upgraded their goalie situation, no doubt, and the team finishes in that sweet spot again. 90 points, fifth in the Atlantic. 66 points out of Lucas Raymond in 81 games, and the Montreal Canadiens are going to once again win themselves a Stanley Cup. That is cup number two for them in this simulation. Kucherov is the top retiring player this season with 1,621 points. Year 15, Raymond still on the first line here, going to be playing with Popov and Wong. Defense looks like this, and they got Peacock. You just got to let him fly in net. The team will win a President's Trophy here with 118 points. Raymond putting up a nice amount of points once again here, a plus 20, though. Love to see it. And the Chicago Blackhawks are going to win, I believe, their second Stanley Cup in this simulation. Detroit would make it all the way to the conference finals, where the Broad Street Bullies would put them out of their misery in six games. Nate Mack is the top retiring player this season with 1,829 points. Raymond will still be on the first line for the Detroit Red Wings, 85 overall, even after a President's Trophy season. But I guess, to be fair, he himself didn't put up a tremendous amount of points, but he still did well. The Red Wings will finish second in the Atlantic this time around. We get 63 points in 82 games out of Lucas Raymond, and a Stanley Cup is heading to the Flo Rida Panthers. So good for them. In terms of the playoffs... The Detroit Red Wings were eliminated by the eventual Stanley Cup winning Panthers in seven games in round number two. Jack Eichel is the top retiring player this year with 1,574 points.
Lucas Raymond will be jumping ship this year. He's 82 overall, will be the second line right winger to start out for the Boston Bruins here. Signs a new two-year, $6 million contract, still getting paid. And the Bruins will finish second in the Atlantic with 99 points. Detroit fifth again in their sweet spot. Typical, 57 points out of Raymond in 82 games. And I think this is back-to-back for the Florida Panthers. I'm pretty sure they just won back-to-back cups, so good for them. And the... Boston Bruins are eliminated in round one by the Montreal Canadiens, taking six games. Mitchell Marner going to be the top retiring player this season with 1,711 points. Let's jump into year 18. Still with the Boston Bruins here, down to 80 overall now on the second line. He will remain, however. The team will finish fifth in the Atlantic. Detroit will finish second with 109 points. But anyway, they get 92 points. They make the playoffs. Raymond puts up 60 points in 82 games this year with almost an even plus minus. The Arizona Coyotes are going to take home the Stanley Cup this time. And the Boston Bruins would be eliminated by the Toronto Maple Leafs in seven games, round number one. This Kennens guy was absolutely insane, as you can see. Raymond going to be making another change up here. He is now the third line right winger to start out this season for the Calgary Flames at 81 overall signs. A new one year, six and a half million dollar deal. He will finish with 39 points in 82 games for the Flames this season. Afterwards, he did get sent down to Stockton, but he played for the Calgary Flames this season. They'd finished fifth in the Pacific Division, and Holtz will be the top retiring player this season. However, Raymond was also going to hang up the boots. He put up 1,224 points with a plus-minus of plus 130. He also played 70 playoff games and put up 39 points in those games with a minus two. Looking at some overall statistics here, Raymond signed 19 years worth of contracts worth about a total of roughly $150 million. He managed to win a President's Trophy with the Detroit Red Wings there, and he also played for three teams, Detroit, Boston, and Calgary. Now, if we head over to the all-time players list, Ilya Kovalchuk is at number 82. With 1,449 games played and 1,226 points. At number 84, we've got Jack Hughes, who played 1,459 games and put up 1,223 points. And at number 83, we've got Lucas Raymond, who played 1,526 games and put up a total of 1,224 points. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this career sim of Lucas Raymond on NHL 21. Be on the lookout for polls to take a vote on which career we should simulate next. I appreciate you guys for checking out the video. If you could go ahead and hit that like button, it'd be greatly appreciated. Also, if you could subscribe, just do it on a trial basis. You know, if you're not sure, just do it. If you don't like it, you can undo it later. But for now, you know, might as well while you're here, right? Anyway, yeah, thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video.